Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is Who's Coming Towards Me reading for Libra Friends. I hope you're well. This is applicable for singles only. This is Who's Coming Towards Me reading for Libra Friends. This is a reading where I channel love, opportunity, connection, reconnection um, for you guys. So this could be an, a person, a new person, an, an ex coming back, connecting, reconnecting towards you. You know, love opportunity, incoming opportunity in love, romantic relationship, or dating. Sorry, I keep repeating myself. It's start. It, it is time to start the reading. <laughs> so the first three cards on top, Libra. All right. Um, you've got here the wheel of fortune in reverse and ten of swords in reverse. All right. This is a person. Um, this is a person where you know for a fact that you separated or you disconnected, but you've never really, um, let's say, you've never really discussed the, the very essence of why you separated. Like, you know, this is, let's break up. All right, I agree. Let's break up. Bye-bye. You know, if something is unfinished between the two of you. Because the Ten of Swords is in reverse, meaning to say there are there are some questions and feelings that has not been able to process out. And yet this is bothering you or bothering them. Some unanswered question. Some unexpressed feelings. Some longing as well. Um, your person is finding the right time to communicate to you, okay? Your person, whoever this is, it's not done. It's not finished. But the thing is, uh, your person is wanting to offer you guys. It's it's more because this is this is, this this temperance card. It looks like the two of cups, all right? So two of cups meaning to say, I would like to um, have a mutual love, mutual affection, mutual care towards you, and it's a matter of finding the right time to reconnect or reopen the conversation. So for some of you. Um, you started talking, you were started, you're still in communication, you're still texting, calling, um, but you haven't really touched base or discussed the topic itself of getting back or what's the whole thing of being in touch again. So there would be a time, so for some of you are being asked to be patient because there would be a time your person is waiting for the right time to, you know, to get, you know, to like it's really waiting for the right time to you know to, to put the subject to to bring you to that subject where you would discuss about why did we actually break up this is your reason this is my reason it seems to be that there's still a chance because this two cards is telling me there's still hope okay it's a very strong message that there is still hope all right let me just write that down They believe, guys, that you could salvage this or you could save this or there's still hope, okay? Uh, with a proper talk, and with a, with, you know, if you guys catch up properly, regularly, things will settle down and you have a chance. There's still hope between the two of you, all right? This is someone you know in the past. Now, the next three cards you've got here. Okay, so... This could be a dating situation, connection, or a reconnection. But this is someone in your past. They were behaving inconsistent. They were selfish. Uh, for some of you, this is a one-way relationship. And then you decided to let go or you break up. Um, the Queen of Cups in reverse. When it, this is in reverse, this is a bit selfish. I'm selfish. It's all about me. This is what I want. Um, this is a one-way, unreciprocated. They don't reciprocate someone's love, attention, or affection, or effort. It's 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 a reading where you love them more versus them to you, okay? And then, um, for some of you, when you guys disconnected, it was sad, all right? But they've let, le they've allowed ego, you know? There's an ego and selfishness. There's an ego and selfishness with this person or with the description or whatever it is. I mean, this connection, this selfishness and ego. All right. Sorry. Um, you know, um, like the Ten of Cups in reverse, it's really saying to me that, um, yep, 
I was able to keep my ego. I was able to win, but I'm not happy. All right, it's it's a reading where you've let your ego win over the situation. You know, it's it's you who won. She or he gave up. He or she is the weakest one. You won, all right. But are you happy? Are you happy you hurt someone? This is what I'm getting. So your person who is acting selfish, who is acting like a brat or a bitch or someone who knows that you like them a lot versus them to you, um, they feel like they are in control of the situation and you guys separated, disconnected or slowly went apart, slowly were disinterested with each other. They have some sort of ego. They feel like they win. But as time goes, they realize that they were empty. It's an empty win. Yeah, they were proud. They were proud that, you know, you have surrendered or they made, they break you. But it's an empty win because they were not happy. You know, part of this person is that um, they win, but they lost their happiness. You know, it's, it's too late. I'm really getting like, this is too late. They're feeling like it's too late, but they're coming as a love opportunity because there's a potential that this person would, would um, would message you with yeah October month, October month, October November five October month for some of you guys very specific, yeah they feel like it's too late but they will try because the five of cups in reverse so they feel like you know they still look at you as a weak as a it's like this is a game between they feel like they're the lion and you're the lamb that they are the lion and that although it's it's their fault but if they roar you would submit you know that's what i'm getting with this person so i'm gonna leave it with you as how you're going to combat or teach this lion a lesson because they're still gonna be aggressive when they reach out to you like some sort of demanding or they still feel like they have a hold of you so you better teach this person to bend the knee <laughs> all right so the next three cards um all right this is four of cups um king of pentacles and the hangman in um in um a reverse position all right this is a person you know all right um they had a change of heart so this person left you disconnected ghosted you so they have a change of change of mind they change their mind change of hearts change of heart heart sorry <laughs> a singular <laughs> um yeah so they're gonna release some sort of message they're going to give you an attention again they will try to pursue or text you but it, they're going to give you some attention all right it's not a full attention um, but it is something that they would try to test the water whether you're still in or you're still interested okay um, for some of you if you display like you're not interested they would stop right this is a person where they're just testing the water if it works fine I will do another plan if they don't take the bait then it's okay as well all right so there's a bit of a um, 50 50 with this person aries leo sag i'm getting cancer scorpio pisces cancer sorry capricorn taurus or virgo okay um so this is re this is your reading libra thank you so much for being here i don't think i need to extend this because this is very straightforward so it's a pleasure doing this reading to you guys i hope to see you soon you take care and all the best bye bye